Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island Season 9, Episode 9? Yeah. Before I get into it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. Producers, y'all must be in my head. Literally the first note I have that I wrote yesterday, I was asking, where was the girl from the beginning? The They had the public vote for two bombshells, a guy and a girl. Ellie was one of them. And I was like, where is Miss Ellie? But here she is. She is coming. We'll talk about her later. And my other gripe that I have with you production. You. You. Now that I think about it, if y'all were going to reach out to Australian alum, why didn't you call Callum? After everything that happened last night, Callum was just stirring the pot. I knew who it was because Callum's choosing is going to make me kiss the new girls. I know how his brain works. <laughs> she's banging, she is proper banging, and I think her kissing has just made her even more banging. So she's banging, banging. Why didn't you call Callum? First of all, Callum is actually attractive. Sorry, let me not do that. Callum is attractive. Let me drop the actually. Callum is attractive. He's a menace, <laughs> like, and literally would drive ratings. Like, I hated watching him because he was just so annoying in the best way. And he would have been a great addition to the UK version. And he's Welsh. Isn't that like similar area? Sort of kind of? Isn't Wales in the, in the United Kingdom? Is it? I don't know, guys. I don't really know geography like that. But anyways, yeah, y'all fumbled with the bag with that one. So let's get to the actual episode. The Australians. Y'all really should have got Callum. Damn, now that I think about it, like that would have made so much more sense. Um, the Australians get to dump two islanders and they settle on anime and Harris basically because their connections weren't connecting. I pray that anime has health and happiness mm -hmm. and I pray that you find someone who makes you happy. Oh, so I'll start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gutted. Like I said before with anime, I really did not. And I hate you guys for calling her anime like animation because that's what I say in my mind and what I write in my notes. So now her name is anime. Anyways, um... I really was shocked that she had such a bad run. I thought she would have been a lot more successful than she was, but the cards fell how they fell. And then with Harris, his only real connection was Olivia and she wanted to be on that train, okay? Thomas, the tank engine has all of her attention, which is hilarious because she's here balling up a storm. Oh my God, uh, I feel so bad. Oh my God, this is his jumper. It smells just like him. That lasted for what? Two minutes and 45 seconds. I am so, so sorry. I really didn't want to do that. I'm so sorry. I don't think that's going to work out for me. So. Oh, gosh. Don't be stupid. Bro. No. Seriously, no, enough of this. You're so beautiful. Enough. Like, seriously. Mm -hmm. I think everyone could see I was swaying towards Tom. As sad as it is him going, maybe it means I won't hold back as much. Mm -hmm. Girl, we know your plan was always to make a beeline for Tom. You've been making a beeline for Tom with Harris in the villa. You don't care about that man. Not enough to be crying like the way you're crying, but whatever, it's fine. She did her little makeup. She pulled herself back together by way of Danielle. You know, I'm really liking the Danielle supporting character narrative that she has to really like big up the girl. She is a girl's girl besides the fact that she wanted to steal Lana's man and her and Lana are supposed to be best friends. But beyond that, She's a girl's girl. Tanya is relieved that she was not dumped and seeks comfort in Shaq. Oh, I care about it. I'm happy that I still have you here. And it just showed me, like, how strong my feelings for you really are. To see you up there, like, was enough. I mean, like, I don't mm -hmm. want to focus on anyone else but you. Like, you are my priority. In your mind. It could be something that's serious, but I found that with you. So I just, I just, just want to hold on to it. A lot of people were going back and forth wondering why Tanya was in the bottom to begin with. I was also surprised that she was on the bottom until somebody made a note that they think 
the focal point for people's voting was the Olivia and Zara situation. So people on Olivia's side were trying to keep her in. People on Zara's side were trying to keep her in. Because realistically, sometimes a conflict like that means one of the people in the conflict goes in the bottom. So I think people were just focused on that. And then other people fell to the wayside. Because really... I think the way people are kind of supporting Tanya online, I wouldn't think she'd be in the bottom. And Tanya has a following as well. I wouldn't think she'd be in the bottom either. But yeah, their little drama altercation situation over there took precedence in the voting. As for Shaq and Tanya's connection, though, Shaq is making some big, big claims, you know. Big, big claims, Shaq, Shaquille, Shaquan. I, I hope you are ready to back it up. And if not even back it up, I hope that once somebody comes in that might actually take your attention away, you handle this one with care because you've now sold a dream. Danielle and Kai are two other people who were on the chopping block. And since they were not eliminated, they realized, huh, our time here is actually short. Maybe we should make the best of it. I was just looking at you thinking, it is so cute. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't keep my eyes off you. And I was thinking, like, I've wasted my time in it. We can cuddle tonight. Mm -hmm. She's opening up more to me. She's planting kisses on me now as well. So um, I can't complain. Honestly, I can't complain either. I just wanted one of them to drop their guard and just pursue whatever it was, whatever it was they were going to pursue. Whether it is we love each other because, not love, but we like each other because we're both hot people or we like each other because, what did Kai say that day? Um, I love her morals. Whatever the reason is, I was just tired of this cat and mouse game, but both wanted to be the 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 mouse being chased. Like, no, put in the effort or just drop it. Olivia takes Tom to the terrace because, you know, before she was holding back. Now, now she's fully pursuing. Anyways, she takes him to the terrace and he's basically having an existential crisis because he's like, man, my time really could be up at any point. It's almost like he's on a show called Love Island where that's the whole premise. There's obviously must be something there yeah. for us to have that door open. Mm -hmm. You are a slow burner, but that's nothing, that's really not a bad thing. A slow burn and an absolute bore. These two are painful to watch. Painful. So painful. The only thing that makes this storyline better is the mix of Zara, but I'm not going to lie, all three of them together do piss me off. They do piss me off. But it's the only real drama we got going on, so fine, let's go with it. The next morning, in the morning debriefs, um, Olivia lets the women know, yeah, I'm going to be going full force. And Zara's like, that's cute. Yeah, obviously there's unfinished business with me and Tom too, so I do need to explore that. I feel like your head was with Harris, but your heart. Maybe. Was with Tom, yeah. yeah. From you, it's a bit too little too late. Are you sort of just on him now because you see he's like slipping away from you? <laughs> I feel like I was a bit scared to talk to him because you kind of claimed him. Zara is correct in that at the end of the day, the decision is up to Tom, but girls, can we be for real? The way this man is so indecisive, he should not be turning either of you on. Either of you. It should be very unattractive that he could not speak straight at all ever you know this episode he did make a good stride but i was just like i'm looking at both of you girls like if he cannot make a decision that's the decision anyways ron did make a comment and i'm gonna have to watch the clip back but ron made a comment i think saying that zara is the better match but she's overwhelming or something like that i love live to pieces has the right amount of fire in her but also has that sensitive and i feel like you'd work really well on the outside zara she excites you and she's sexy and you fancy her so much. I feel like on the outside, I feel like you would get overwhelmed. I'm really noticing a trend of Lana and Ron not being a fan of Zara. And it's like, okay, you don't have to get along with everybody, but like, ugh, shut up. And Ron, Ron, shut up for real. <laughs> I've been seeing on Twitter that he's been compared to Curtis. Yeah, it's giving Curtis. Tom talks to Zara, letting her know that the option, his, his options are open. What is new? What is new? We knew that. She knew that. Everybody knows that. That's that's why we're in the situation that we are in because you can't make a decision because your options are open. You're keeping your options open. <sighs> Anyways, Zara is obviously frustrated by the situation and has a talk with Jamie who pitches Aaron. I'll see you in a bit. No. Baby girl. How'd that go? I think have I had you considered like two or three chatting days to Aaron today maybe? 
Um, just suss it out, suss the waters. I also don't want to just sort of slack off and spend loads of time with Aaron. Yeah. And I know I'm leaning towards Tom. Sweetie, ain't nobody want that man. <laughs> ain't nobody want that man. Nobody want that man. Nobody wants that man. Ain't nobody want that man. No ma'am. No thank you. <laughs> Not this season. That's for sure. Okay. Anyways. Um, she does, however, Zara, she does have this talk with this man that ain't nobody want. Are you still open to getting to know other people? I am, yeah, and I think we got on really well. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, he's open to get to know Liv, so I'm open to get to know Aaron. And I have actually genuinely found a bit of a spark with Aaron. Zara, honey. If you truly believe there is a spark between you and Aaron and you decide to pursue it, I am removing myself. I am removing myself from the Zara Vigilante team. I'm removing myself from management. I'm removing myself from the 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 the, the Zara Rough Riders. I'm Zara Aaron. Aaron. Connection? Spark? You've got to be kidding me. It must be, it it must be to want to stay in the it must be. Because do not do Aaron. No. Tom, finally, thank God, hopefully, because I was just done with the situation. He finally gains um, some cojones, some balls, and decides to tell Olivia that although the options are open, which everybody knows, I am leaning towards Zara, which also everybody knew. How do you feel when you look at me? <laughs> oh my God, look at you now. No, I'm just asking. I probably can see something on the outside, maybe more with Zara at this moment in time. Yeah. That's for me, I'm completely honest. Mm. Oh, how frustrating. Maybe he doesn't like me. We all knew this. We were just waiting for him to tell Olivia that. Because like I said in a previous video, he has told both of them that the door is open, but he has told Zara he's leaning more to Zara, and he has told Olivia that it's 50-50. It's not 50-50. Even the, the men know it's 50-50. Zara knows it's not... I mean, not 50-50. Zara knows it's not 50-50. Thank God, Olivia now knows that it's not 50-50. Unfortunately for her, she did get emotional about the situation because she was putting all this effort for a man who just told her, you're runner-up. Olivia, honey, we could have told you that three episodes ago. Actually, we did tell you that three episodes ago. I know you ain't heard it, but you heard it from Zara. <laughs> You've seen it in Tom's actions. The man did not have you as the priority to me. If it is not an emphatic yes, I don't know how many times I need to say it. If it's not an emphatic yes, honey, it's a no. Will is living on top of the world, you guys, now that his spot in the villa is not in jeopardy because he is tied up with Jamie. Jesse, where does this Jamie name come from? I'm in a little bit of like cruise control and kind of like every conversation we have, it's almost like bringing us a little bit closer together, which is nice. Kitty. Really? Mm, you cute. Okay, so, 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 so let's have this conversation, you guys. At first, at first, I wanted to be delusional you know, and say, Jesse's really into this guy. I don't care what you guys say. I think she's into him. I will, I will, I will do this and be like, yeah, I see the connection. I, t I totally see it. However, I opened my eyes today. I think it's there for real. I, th I, if she's playing a game, she's playing a damn good one because I honestly think it's there for real. Guys, am I still being delusional? Whatever, I'm a living delusion. If it makes, ignorance is bliss. As if every night isn't a friggin' party, they get a text that they're gonna have a party. A 90s one at that. When damn near most of the cast is barely 90s babies to begin with, but whatever. That is blowing my mind. You could be born in the 2000s and fully be a parent. Like in your 20s, like early 20s. Fully graduated. I'm feeling old. I'm touching 30. I am feeling old right now. But anyways, they have this 90s party. Everybody's having fun or whatnot. And then um, they get a text that there will be a recoupling. However, before the recoupling, there are two new bombshells that arrive. I'm Ellie. I'm 25 and I'm from Norwich. 
I work as a business development executive at a law firm. I'm coming for all of the boys in the villa. Watch out, girls. I'm Spencer, I'm 24. I'm an e-commerce business owner from Bournemouth. I basically sell vibrators online. If I like a girl or I'm into a girl, everyone knows about it. I don't really have any filter. So first we got Ellie. Ellie is who I was just talking about at the top of the video, just asking, yo, where did this girl go? Interesting how they left out of the promo that she describes herself as feral. She said she's feral in the workplace and in her daily life. Feral? I get wild child, but feral, honey, never that. Then you have Spencer. Listen, Spencer does not do it for me until he mentioned his career. And I said, you know what? You're all right with me. So they get the first pick and then it's guys picking girls. But of course they left us on a cliffhanger. So who do you guys think Spencer and Ellie will pick? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think I saw that Harris has spoken out on the whole fight. Maybe we'll talk about it if it's worth talking about. If it's not, then I'll just see you in the next one.